Yo, Hannah. Yo, Hannah. Welcome to my little oasis, my happy place. It's my craft room. I primarily make journals and do a lot of personal memory keeping, so having a space dedicated to only that is really special. My room is on the smaller side, but is much more than I need to get creative. Within the space, I have tried to separate different areas for different functions. For example, on one side of the room I have my sewing machine, and on the other side of the room I have my main desk. To be honest though, sometimes I just end up on the floor. On the back wall of my room I have a shelving unit. This one is from Ikea and it's called the Calax. And I also have two different types of Alex drawer units, a tall one with nine drawers which holds my vintage ephemera, my papers, and a shorter wider one that holds a variety of miscellaneous supplies. The opposite wall is a large glass sliding door which leads out into the yard. This fills my room up with lots of natural bright light. Squeezed into my space are also two rascal carts. One is currently holding my scrapbooking supplies and project life cards while the other is holding journaling supplies, mixed media supplies and a container of ongoing projects. Going back to my desk area, I have a Senko shelf sitting on top where I like to keep my pens and glue, my paper punches, and I like to have all these things out within arm's reach so that I can use them regularly and look at them every day. I also use a selection of pretty old china pieces for storage wherever possible. They're both decorative and functional. My desk sits on top of two more sets of Alex drawers. One side holds my binding threads and tools. Stamps and ink pads. As well as my embossing powders, folders and dies. And the opposite side has a drawer for catching all my personal day-to-day -day mementos so that I can put them into my journals at a later time. And the other drawers just hold wallets full of die cuts, some personal journals, planners and magazines which I like to cut into for collaging. Under my desk I have a wire basket that has a variety of vintage wallpapers. I also have a large box here where I throw in all of my recycling. Moving over to my Calax shelf, on top I have my paper trimmer, 6x6 papers. I also have my big shot machine and my printer. And in the add-on drawer unit I keep my photo printer and accessories, as well as blank discs and manuals. And the top row of shelving has some acrylic inserts that hold my 12x12 papers and card stocks. Below that I also have some 12 by 12 albums and some vintage sheets. In this unit I also keep some of my personal journals, A4 paper, boxes of letters and craft supplies for my kids, as well as a variety of books. I have a metal cabinet from Officeworks that holds paper bags, vellum, acetate, doilies and sticker paper and this just sits nicely into one of the sections on the shelf. My sewing station has a large storage compartment where I keep my fabric. It's organised by type into a number of containers. I like to keep my larger pieces together, my scrap pieces together, hankies together, my vintage linens together and some Christmas linens together. In the drawers I have some more sewing supplies, so the top drawer has my machine accessories and tools, as well as my threads and needles. The next drawer has everything I use to package up my orders, so business cards and post office forms, as well as little gifts that I like to include sometimes. 
And the last drawer just holds my camera, power cords, hard drives and other computer equipment. Beneath the sewing table I have a large container which is full of chipboard and cardboard that I like to recycle into my projects. My tall Alex drawers hold some of my most special supplies so here I keep my vintage papers including ledger paper. I also keep napkins and wooden dominoes. I have some vintage photographs and miscellaneous ephemera. I also keep dressmaker patterns and embroidery patterns and in this tin at the back I have some vintage playing cards. I keep music and book papers, wrapping paper and a variety of new and old Christmas supplies. I also use a drawer for my paper scraps. On top of this unit I have a small trinket shelf laid down on its back which gives me a compartment tray which holds my vintage envelopes, postcards, greeting cards and index cards. My wider Alex unit is a little bit more disjointed and these drawers hold everything from washi tapes, postcards and writing paper. beads and charms, post-it notes, art journaling supplies, stickers, tags and some other random embellishments. These drawers are really great for being able to see an entire collection of supplies in one place. The basket beside the drawers just hides some of my power cords when they aren't in use. And behind my door I also keep my photo backdrop and homemade tripod when not in use. My gallery wall is made up of mostly pretty vintage plates, thrifted pieces and book illustrations. And the buntings hung up around the room are from an Etsy shop. I'll link everything that I can in the description box below. For me, my room needs to be functional and organised, but it also needs to be an inspiring and enchanting place to work. I like to surround myself in colours and patterns that make me feel happy, and I love being able to unleash my inner child and decorate in a way that captivates and nurtures my creative imagination.